Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancers, I am here to do, you know, I want to do a next 48, okay? Um, see what's going on over the weekend, right? What energy, I, and you know, I'm being led to start off with some oracles for you. So, I don't know, maybe you guys need some advice or something? So, anyway, Cancers, I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything. Um... Thank you for all the likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, smiley faces. Thank you for um, calling me Mammy Becca. I absolutely love that, you guys. <laughs> I do. I can't tell you. That just it tickles me. I don't know. Thank you to whoever um, gave me that nickname. I really love it. Uh, and uh, Cancer, this reading is for the collective, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? Just... Um, just don't try to force it, okay? Toss out what doesn't what doesn't resonate with you. And I love you guys. Thanks again for all of your support. I love my family here. All right, what do we have for Cancer? Next 48, Divine. Acceptance. Okay, self-reflection. Extremes. Beauty. Self-love. Yeah, dropping these burdens. I feel like there's a burden that you guys may still have to drop, okay? It's become unrecognizable. What is this that you're still carrying, right? Once you would, once you drop this burden, you're going to attract new things to you, okay? So um, I feel like there's someone out there who is having a hard time accepting um, a loss, maybe a partner that's not coming forward, okay? Um, looking back on things, you may realize that this was a sexual connection. Is I'm feeling a lot of sexual energy here from a masculine. Yeah, I feel like you guys are kind of stepping out of your emotions, accepting that you may need to release this, okay? Um, especially with the four, that's a divine number. So the divine is with you over the weekend, all right? Helping you with this, okay? And I feel like once you step out of the, all the emotions that have been up to your neck, right? And take a, a look at this, look back on the situation, right? I feel like, I feel like this is your 5D self, like helping you find the answers. You guys are having a hard time accepting i think because you've been carrying this this burden around with no one to help you out with it like no one's come to release you from this to tell you the truth to give you clarity but if you listen right if you settle yourselves and find a happy place i want to say find your happy place cancer find some place peaceful and just listen right I feel like the divine is going to show you the answers that you need in order to release this. And I feel like for some of you, maybe not all of you, the answer is going to be that this could have been a sexual connection, okay? Um, yeah, and it's really, you've been carrying the burden because you didn't get any clarity. You didn't get any answers. Of course you've been carrying this because you've got a heart of gold. Once you feel like you've been loyal to somebody, uh, even if they had bad intentions, Cancer, you'll still keep trying, okay? Um, because you've got that heart of gold, and nobody loves like a Cancer. Nobody. Um, you know, you're at the top of the chart for love, knowing how to love, and part of that is... Um, to be resilient and I think you guys have been resilient enough you've carried this burden long enough and as soon as you release it 4-4 four, four here underneath the 4 as soon as you release this and accept it for what it is right after getting the clarity from your higher self okay um, you'll attract all of these new things to you okay you will you just have to release this burden that really after all of this time of carrying whatever this is it's literally unrecognizable you got tentacles in this thing you can't even see what it is anymore okay and i feel like for a lot of you too you could be you could be going to extremes when it comes to like changing something about the way you look like you could um 
get get a new haircut or I'm seeing like red streaks or green being put in your hair. Okay. Um, something about transforming your look. So um, hair color or new makeup maybe or a whole new wardrobe, something like that, right? Um, yeah, I feel like some of you may make some extreme change to your looks here, but it's all about self-love, self-expression, really. Because when you can express the true you, you really love the true you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I feel like um, this could be part of your advice. Just focus on you, you know? Make the kind of changes that really show your personality and your style, something you're going to be really happy with, you know, because you are a new you now, right? You are a new you. And I feel like with darkness here, I feel like you're coming out of it with nourishment with, um, by putting that love back into you now and just, man, you know, what do you want to do, right? Do it. I'm hearing the Willy Wonka song again, guys. So yeah, especially with this manifesting, right? Yes, I'm getting the chills. Um, yeah, what was that reading I did? Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. This looks like the chocolate room in Willy Wonka, does it not? Uh-huh, yeah, that's right. Um, Living there, you'll be free, right? Free, if you truly wish to be. So I feel like for you guys just have to do some self-reflection this weekend, right? And you may have to purge like a pile of tears, okay? Um, in order to get through this and truly accept. I feel like for some of you, there was a connection that was really... A sexual thing nobody came nobody respected you enough to give you any clarity they just didn't and I feel like you're letting that go here you're thinking about new things manifesting you're so powerful right now cancer so you know what here's the thing as yeah focus on pleasure not darkness right um, and you're protected here You've got your bubble up, you're protecting yourself, but here with darkness, power, and pleasure, whatever it is that you're focused on, you're going to manifest as soon as you release, right? You're going to manifest, so try to keep your, refocus any negative thoughts on what's going to make you happy, right? And like I said, you know, this could make you happy. Some of these changes that you're going to make with your appearance, it's going to give you more confidence, I feel, to be able to express yourself, you know, however you want, right? However you want. Um, but focus on things that make you happy. What kind of things do you want to see in the new cycle, right? Yeah, pure imagination. That's what that song is from Willy Wonka, guys. Look it up. I did a reading on it before. He says in the beginning of the song, he says, hold your breath, count to three, make a wish. And the whole, the whole song is about manifesting, okay? Um, I did a whole segment, a whole reading on that. Yeah, um, but yeah, I feel like watch what you say to yourself, right? Be careful of the self-talk, if anything, Tell yourself great and wonderful things, Cancer, because that's what you are. You're great and wonderful. Eat some good food. You guys could be switching diets here, changing your looks up, changing your makeup, your hairstyle, um, something, you know. But, yeah, feed yourself good things, Cancer, and take pleasure in your life, like whatever is going to make you high vibe this weekend. Try to focus on that. Try When you're manifesting with all of this power, because this is the most powerful card in the deck, okay? When you're manifesting, try to focus on the good things you want to bring into your life, you know? Um, yeah, and the self-talk to be positive about it, Cancer, because you're manifesting right now. You are. And it, it could go either way, either dark or light, 
okay dark or light what do you want in your in your new um, cycle you have a chance at a brand new life a brand new lifestyle something you know it even says in the song something about um, the things you see will defy explanation right if you want to view paradise simply look around and view it anything you want to do it um how does it go wanna change the world what do you want in your next cycle there's nothing to it right yeah all right so that's where you are i'm feeling a new energy coming in your person always breaks into your reading cancer you could be dealing with um, a Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, they're seeing things from a whole new perspective now. Now they want this new beginning with you. See, they're kind of manifesting too. Everybody's manifesting right now. This is the time to do it. Okay? Um, could be dealing with the Pisces. But yeah, they want this new beginning with you now. Now they see things from a new perspective. Um, I feel like this person played you in the past. I, they thought that they were better than you. But it, 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 they're, it, 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 it looks to them like you're getting blessed with some abundance here. Yeah, and now they want to get you to calmer waters, but I, I feel like this person just wants to try to control the situation. To be honest, yeah, you're moving forward from this person here. This is who you need to accept and release, I feel. Okay? Acceptance, right? Knowing that you've learned your lesson from this cycle with this person. All right? You've healed yourself. You're very well balanced. You're stepping out of all of that emotion. And you're listening to your own discernment and intuition, okay? And you know you're going places here in this new cycle. You're stepping into a whole new cycle that's going to be super abundant for you. You know? And all eyes are on you. It's kind of like the final exam for you going into this portal okay this is this lion's gate portal energy it is how do you want your new beginning to be how do you want it i feel like this person can also see you um leaving the scene some of you could be moving making a house move um but I feel like this is something that you're you're really working on putting behind you here in the next 48. Um, you intuitively know this is a time for you to be opening new doorways for yourself. Yeah, I feel like you're leaving this person behind here, whoever this is. And I feel like this is what's been burdensome for you this whole time. But um, you're getting your own clarity here. Yeah, because you're, you're the star. You're receiving messages from the divine here. Yep. You're in the public eye. You're looking beautiful. You're showing your new style. See, I'm seeing red streaks being put in the hair. Somebody's either red or green. Um, yeah, you're a healer, an empath, and the divine has put you out here in the public eye. Okay? You've already healed yourself, but this weekend I see you pouring a lot of healing energy into you. Again, what I see up here. And there's somebody here who's falling apart, extremely emotional here, having a tower moment because they're watching you leave. And they can see that you're actually, you're leveling up in your life, right? You may even have a small fortune coming towards you, but I see you as being on the top of the wheel right now. All right, and they're not. They're crumbling, kind of. They want to reunite here. They want this blessing and love, but that's, yeah. I feel like something's, they're, yeah, it's, it's the end. They're feeling pretty defeated here.
because I feel like they may have manipulated you or maybe they're planning on manipulating you, but I feel like they can't really reach you in this energy. Okay, they can't and you're letting this person go. Yeah, justice for the temperance angel. There it is. You have waited your... I'm hearing your rainbow is overdue. Who, bad company, right? That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, you've waited a long time for your justice, all right? I feel like a lot of you on this journey never thought, never thought that you'd get your own justice here. Just by using your intuition and putting love into you. And I feel like that's what's happening here. Justice for the earth angel. You're letting go. You're, ex you're accepting this and you're accepting your divine path here, man. You just have to be careful with the self-talk and, and any dark thoughts you may have while you're manifesting during this time. This whole, you, may not, you may be walking around cancer and not even know you're manifesting, but you are. So watch your thoughts here because you're uber, uber powerful here. In temperance angel energy, earth angel energy here. Yeah, somebody's watching you like a hawk. They could even be trying to figure out how much money you make, tallying up whatever. Um, they could even just be spending a lot of time at work, but I'm really feeling like they're studying you to see how they can manipulate. You know, this looks like a really good offer until you look at the person's face underneath the mask. They look just kind of evil. They look dark. They look like, um, you know, like um, darker energy kind of look. Like they look sly, sneaky. And I feel like they just want to manipulate you here. Or they have in the past. Yeah, they're heartbroken. They're crying. They're regretting what they've done. They could have put you in a third party situation here. And they chose somebody else over you. That had literally nothing in it. Nothing nothing but blood and sand. No love, right? I feel like that's what they're facing here now too, is no love. This person feels ashamed. They could be trying to hide how they feel. Doing a lot of crying in the dark. In the dark, it's just you and I. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they're singing the blues in the dark okay this person could listen to blues music i don't know it's making them feel worse if they are yeah they're they're heartbroken they're just heartbroken could be dealing with a virgo um a cancer pisces scorpio heavy on scorpio um taurus virgo capricorn sagittarius Pisces, heavy on Virgo. All right, so yeah, this person's, they're feeling heartbroken here. That nighttime is really bad for this person, okay? Clarify this Queen of Wands. They could already be with someone else, okay? There could be... Um, I kind of, you know what, I don't know. One of these energies is yours and I can't tell. I think it might be the Queen of Wands. You're just done. You're not wasting your time. You're not playing any games. I feel like you're, you're going for a new beginning here. If there was somebody else here, Cancer, that could be coming to an end, a big tower moment. This person may need to leave very quickly. Yeah, you're going for a new beginning, Cancer, and you know, you have faith, you have uber faith in the divine that the person for you is going to come in. And when they do, and it's a when, not an if, when this new person comes into the picture, they're going to know exactly what they want. This is what you're wanting. This is one of the things you're manifesting here is new love, who's going to know what they want, who's going to choose you, and somebody who's, who's done the work on themselves, been through the same kind of battle you have, and is having a victory in life. 
okay? That's who you're manifesting. Somebody who is a good match for you here. Someone who wants a new beginning just like you do. And meanwhile, I feel like this person, all they can do is think about you. You know who this is and you can feel them, but you're having a new beginning anyway. You are. You're grabbing a hold of that wand. And you're, you're, yeah, you're releasing, you're accepting. And you're manifesting something new for yourself. And this person over here from your past, I feel like they just can't come back in for some reason. I feel like they can't get back in. Clarify the sun. Yeah, you just want to be happy again, Cancer. Yeah, you're taking control of your own life. This person, too, they, they could be with somebody who they got pregnant. That's for some of you, not all of you. I'm seeing a possible pregnancy happening here with the sun and the empress, definitely. If that's the case, all this person still, all they can think about is you. Look, very burdened here. They're very burdened. I feel like you guys are, yeah, they want to come forward here and talk. Look at how lost this person is. How do I talk to cancer? Right. How do you talk to an angel? Yeah, there, somebody's going to be approaching you, Cancer. Maybe that's what this person is worried about. Yeah, that's what they're worried about. They're upset because you may have new suitors coming towards you. Yeah, they're upset. They're obsessed. They could be in a karmic situation. They could have some kind of addiction. This is your person from your past. I feel like this is who you're releasing, okay? So new, what did I say? As soon as you release this burden, other people are, you're going to attract new things, new people to you, and that's what's happening here. And this person can't stand it. I feel like you're going to you're going to be talking to some new people here very soon, Cancer. They can't stand it. This could be somebody who's just obsessed, enraged, jealous, envious, okay? They don't necessarily have to be with somebody else, but I feel like they are. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They need to choose they needed needed to choose a path. But they didn't. Now it may be too late. Fool card. This person did whatever they wanted willy-nilly. Um, I feel like they, they, they may have thought it would be easy to come back to you. They could have seen you as being fairly naive. Um, but yeah, they're, they can't break your barrier now. I feel like, um, yeah, look, strength. They can't break your barrier now. And they're having to, like, kind of waddle away, you know, feeling all depressed, all kinds of burdened, you know, ho-hum, right? But they're not, they're not, they're still not speaking. They should have came in quickly to tell you the truth. Okay, make a decision, but they didn't. So now I feel like they can't break your barrier, Cancer, okay? You're having this new beginning. I feel like... Um, you guys are going to go through a period of acceptance over the weekend and you're just going to go for a new beginning. Maybe get out there and do some things for you, change your style, something. And then all of a sudden, as soon as you release and you start living happily again, you know, focused on what's going to make you happy, these new people come in. I'm telling you, as soon as you accept and release other people are going to be coming in just you're going to attract new things new situations new people okay and i feel like you do make that release here focusing on you okay and doing a lot of manifesting all right give me one more for cancer but this person from your past i feel like they just can't get back in 
and they're they're super worried and upset about other people approaching you and that's really that's not your problem cancer okay you've waited for your rainbow your rainbow is overdue yeah this person you know i feel like they're gonna get hit with karma is really what i'm feeling like here they're gonna hit get hit with karma as soon as you release this yeah they could be in bad health they could lose a home you know there is a tower moment underneath it all just like waiting to happen and I feel like that's what this is as soon as you release this person gets their karma for what they've done how they've treated you some of these people could end up losing a job a home unable to pay their mortgage in really bad health limping around they may need some help here um, following somebody else out into the cold that led them into maybe a poverty situation yeah I feel as soon as you release this person new things come in for you and they get hit with karma that's what I've got here anyway cancer listen that's what I've got for this reading I do hope this helps I hope it resonates you guys know I'm with you every day right so I'll be back with you again tomorrow um, but yeah listen cancer you're manifesting whether you know it or not be mindful to keep your mind out of the dark right and focus on things that you love all right it's going to help with your manifesting okay so that part is uber important guys it's, you know just remember this through the weekend please anyway cancers i love you guys if you like this video please click that like button subscribe to my channel right if you like this vibe and it's resonating with you join the family here because we're awesome and until next time cancers take care of you my darlings and peace out